Adam Sandler's once again crushing it in the Netflix Top 10 list. But which movie is it this time? Here's a hint, it's not Hubie Halloween. If your childhood consisted of late 90s and early 2000s animation, then the name Gendy Tartakovsky should sound familiar to you. He's the animator behind shows like Samurai Jack, The Powerpuff Girls, and Dexter's Laboratory. Decades later, Tartakovsky is still going strong in the world of animation with the more adult-focused Primal, which has received rave reviews. In terms of what Tartakovsky has brought to the big screen, however, the first three Hotel Transylvania movies are a wonderful example of what happens when you let someone with a vivid imagination helm an animated film. Although another Halloween has come and gone, it would appear that Hotel Transylvania 2 in particular has held strong on Netflix's top 10 for the week, which makes perfect sense. These movies are dazzling visual feasts to throw on when you want to get in the spirit of the season. While Hotel Transylvania 3 Summer Vacation is arguably the best of the series, it's Hotel Transylvania 2 that takes what worked about the first film and gave its monsters a greater meaning. Hotel Transylvania 2 takes place more than seven years after the first film, with Dracula's daughter Mavis now married to Johnny, the human she fell for. Together, the pair have their first child, Dennis, and at five years old, the red-haired offspring has yet to grow his vampire fangs. It all makes Mavis wonder if it's even safe to raise a mostly human child at a monster hotel to begin with. While Mavis travels with Johnny to California for her own vacation, Dracula and his buddies watch over Dennis taking the opportunity to bring out his inner monster before she gets back. Where Hotel Transylvania focused on Dracula coming to terms with the idea that humans aren't all that bad, the 2015 follow-up sees the bloodsucker in a different, albeit slightly similar, situation. Among all of the silly sight gags, the Hotel Transylvania series is ultimately about confronting prejudice. Dracula happily welcomes a human into his family, but he's still frightened that his only grandson won't share any monster qualities. Now that humans themselves are welcome to stay at the hotel, it drives up Dracula's unfounded anxiety that Dennis won't officially be a part of his monster world. Above all else, Hotel Transylvania 2 is a comedy, and it delivers on the laughs. The film's highlight is that middle stretch, where Dracula takes the kid out and about to see if they can scare those fangs out of him somehow. But as usual, it takes a moment of self-reflection for the vampire to see how he's been passing on his childhood insecurities to the next generation. Quiet. This is how they learn. You throw them and they figure it out. It's how I was taught. Adam Sandler's filmography is loaded with winners and arguable stinkers. The comedic actor is arguably at his best when he's showing off his more dramatic sensibilities, with projects like Punch Drunk Love. But it's always admirable to see him take on more family-friendly fare. He's still doing the funny voices that can grate on people's nerves, but when it comes to Dracula, Sandler manages to make him sound sweet, affectionate, and, well, animated. Boy, is this bringing back any memories? We used to prowl around here when we were in our 100s. The dark forest of... And Sandler's not the only comedian showcasing his vocal range in the film. Characters like Frankenstein's monster, the Wolfman, the Mummy, and the Invisible Man are played by comedians who know how to get a laugh out of you with every line. Even Mel Brooks is having a great time as Vlad, Dracula's old-fashioned father who hasn't been outside of his crypt in some time. Coming back around to Tartakovsky, the Hotel Transylvania films are great examples of animated features that embrace the stretchy logic of a Looney Tunes cartoon. In tandem with the primal creator's expressive style, there's almost always a hilarious sight gag going in the background of any given scene. Background tributes to the classic monsters, along with other horror-related gags, reveal a filmmaker who takes everything people love about these characters in other mediums and puts his own fresh spin on the source material. The Hotel Transylvania movies are very, very silly in nature, but that doesn't mean they shouldn't be taken seriously. Hotel Transylvania 2 might fall into some of the same trappings a lot of animated family movies fall into, but its quick-witted humor, color, and undead heart shows what can come out of a creative team making a silly monster movie that everyone can enjoy. Hotel Transylvania 2 is currently streaming on Netflix.